guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Stace. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I edit my Instagram pictures. Literally like two people asked for this video. So this is for you. Oh, hello. Um, okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys what I have been doing to edit my pictures because I have been getting questions on how I edit my pictures because recently I've been editing them in a different way and I just wanted to show you guys. Before we get started, I do wanna say I have the iPhone 10 and this is what I use to take my pictures as well as edit my pictures and I do have a what's on my iPhone posted up if you guys want to go check it out so you can see like what other apps I have alright so I'm gonna try and screen record just so that I can get my phone somewhere on the screen so the apps that I mainly want to talk about are for sure Instagram I mean duh like this is what this video is about. So if you guys want, you can go check out my Instagram at Sassy Stassi and just like my YouTube and I'll leave the link in the description box. But this is what it just looks like right here. And these are all of my pictures. And my recent pictures are these like six right here that I've been editing with the same filter. I have like more of um, like a light neutral, light warm. I would say like more of a light warm feed right now with pops of like blue and pink and yellow. Yeah, I don't know. I just, honestly, I just like the colors. I like the way that the blue and the yellow just sort of like contrast each other. The first tip that I have for you guys is to choose your feed and choose the type of theme that you want. There's literally so many different types of themes. If you guys just go on Pinterest, where is my Pinterest? Oh, there it is. Okay, if you guys just go on Pinterest and search up Visco Aesthetic or Visco, hold on, Visco Theme Ideas free, just so you get the free versions, you guys can find a lot of different ones. For example, they'll tell you exactly what to do like with Visco or Lightroom or whatever other app you're using. Personally, I use Visco Camp, so that's why I put Visco. But it's really cool because you can really like try all these out and see just like what's your vibe and see what colors you like. Like pick a color scheme and just like play around with pictures until you get the type of mood that you want to set. So I think picking that out first is going to help you because you're going to know what type of pictures to eventually take and what colors to include within your pictures. The second thing I recommend you guys to do in order to keep your theme is to take pictures in a similar sort of setting, like not necessarily the same background, but maybe the same color palette. So if you have like more of a cool toned theme going on, maybe take pictures in front of blue props or like a blue wall or like blue something. If you have something more like light and bright, maybe try and take pictures with white backgrounds or a lot of white in the picture. Make sure that your picture stands out with that color and that's gonna help it all just like kind of tie together. So that's what I did for those pictures. And then the next tip I have for you guys is to have a lot of content ready. So have a few different pictures ready to upload to your Instagram with the same theme. So I would recommend you choosing like a day out of the week to just take pictures And I know that sounds kind of excessive kind of extra, but we're extra around here Okay, so what you want to do is just pick a day out of the week and pick a day that you're not going to be doing much And you know just change into different outfits and maybe go out into different settings like your backyard your room your neighbor's house <laughs> I know we're all inside right now so you know just try and be creative with your setting like even your kitchen like you can go to your kitchen if your kitchen has your theme <laughs> and just take your pictures there um, but yeah just try and like get different content in one day and then edit it all in the same day so that you have pictures ready to post I feel like my theme kind of like goes off when I don't have pictures with the same color scheme or like the same color palette and you know I just I'm scrambling to find a picture to edit and I just kind of edit it and then post it because I want to post something but it won't match the rest of the pictures because it was just kind of like a last minute type of thing so I feel well that was kind of loud I feel like if you just take your pictures in advance and edit them in advance you can just like be posting them on the days that you want to post them and you'll have content ready to go so those are my tips so that you can stay consistent with your feed. Now onto the actual things that I do. So I like to go into this app called UNUM. And these are all of my pictures that 
I have or that I will be posting on my Instagram and they look like this and the cool thing about this is that you can just see how it's gonna look like with the Instagram layout so you see how your pictures are gonna go together and you can really like switch them out if you don't like them you can see like what looks better so you like get a preview of it without having to post it which I think is so genius so what you do is you just click on a picture they'll be like Right now I have it so that I have all of like my pictures here, but say I like delete a picture. So let's say that I delete that. So this is gonna look like this. It's all just gonna be blank. You wanna click on it and then you're gonna click the little import button right here. Hello, okay. And then you're just gonna be importing things that you want to like different pictures that you want and that's how you use it you can also swap pictures out to see what would look better you can really just like play around with it so that you can you know see what looks best to you and then you can actually schedule your posts so you can click on this little scheduling and then you can set a little reminder to actually post your picture so say if i want to post this like on wednesday at uh 10 I don't know 10 30 in the morning I save it and then I save it and then it'll just remind me at that time on Wednesday to upload that picture so that it's like ready to go so it's really nice this is a really nice little thing and I recommend it to everyone okay next up I have visco cam of course this is my favorite editing app ever. Oh, so I just went into my favorites file and then I'm just gonna pick on a picture. So I think I'm gonna click this one right here. I'll show you guys how I edit this one. And then I'm going to click on it, click edit. And the first thing I do is I go into my favorites and these are my favorite presets. So I have DOG3, A5, C4, P5, and A4. But the one I've been using recently, like for my recent type of vibe, is the A4. And what I do is I don't like it to be like fully saturated. So I just bring this down a little bit. Usually I'll do like, I don't know, six, which is like half, 5.9. There you go, that works. And then I click on this little tool at the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that there. Well, I'm doing a screen recording. And then I do like to bring the exposure up just a little bit. So I'm gonna bring it up to about one. You can see the difference there, it just brightens everything. And then I'm gonna click save. I'm sorry if you guys hear my dogs in the back. I'm gonna go to contrast and then I'm gonna bring this up to, usually I like to do like 0 0.7, 0 0.8. So there you go, there is like the difference. I don't know if you guys can see that. A, A, okay, we're getting closer. So then you click okay, and then I do, ooh, you can go into this sharpen tool and then sharpen up your picture if you feel like it's a little bit blurry. But personally, I'm just gonna leave it at zero. I feel like this one's fine. Also clarity, this will just really like make everything a little bit more crisp, like the colors. But again, I feel like this one is fine without it. And then I do like to go into saturation. So for saturation, I like to bring it up a little bit just to bring some warmness. I really just say warmness. I meant to say warmth. Oh my gosh, I'm so ridiculous. Okay, so 0 0.8. Ah, okay. Ah, no, I want 0 0.8. Hello. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. I don't know why I keep on saying that. Click yes. And then as you can see, it just brings some more warmth to the picture. And then what I'm gonna do is I am gonna go into tone and I'm gonna bring the highlights up. Usually I like to bring the highlights up to about three. 0 0.0 or 2.9 now I'm gonna do 3.0 why not there you see like the difference I'm gonna save this and then I'm gonna go into skin tone for skin tone I'm gonna lower it down to like negative 1.7 and it just makes the picture look a little bit more peachy I don't know if that makes sense but if I go over here it makes it look more yellow but I feel like because we did warm it up a little bit, I just want it to look a little bit more neutral. There we go. Okay, I'm kind of liking that right now. And then sometimes I will go into the white balance and mess with like the temperature. Sometimes I'll do a little bit more of a cool. 
or a little bit more of a warmth depending on the picture and the lighting of the picture but for this one in particular i'm just gonna leave it at zero because i feel like this is this is this is looking pretty good to me so now i'm just gonna click next save and then it actually saved the picture with the edits so a little cool tip that you can do is you can actually import other pictures into your visco cam i'm gonna import those two and then you can actually copy your edits the ones that you just did and then you can paste them onto your other pictures there you see so now all of your pictures will have the same edits in it and you will see like how it looks like with the same edits i feel like this is so freaking cool because you don't have to like keep on going and like messing with the different tools you just basically copy the edits oh my gosh and then you paste them and they're like ready to go and it looks really good and whenever you see your picture you can actually like go in and fix it if it's not the same like vibe that you want to you can actually click on this little thing and then again mess with the exposure depending on the picture i feel like for me it all depends on the lighting and the lighting really defines the picture and like how it's going to look with the edit so yeah that is basically what i do to edit my pictures and then you just click next and then save it to your camera roll i think that the copy and pasting works really well and i really love it i really love that feature it's honestly yeah that is basically how i edit my pictures and i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more videos and let me know what type of videos you guys would like to see because honestly i'm out here in my room trying to film i hope that all of your instagram feeds come to life and that you guys find your own theme to go off of and and that's it. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to go eat some pizza. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video.